Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to paint on the fly. And by painting on the fly, I mean, how do you get in, get out, get your work done, move to the next spot, whatever. Now, there's several reasons why one may have to paint on the fly. So one might be you're painting in a public place, a museum, a park, something like that. And you just really wanna capture a scene that you see you're doing your sketches, you wanna color it a little bit, but you got someplace else to go, you gotta move on. Perhaps you're not wanting to take your pochard and your paint book and all your equipment with you just to get out and paint. This is not real, this is more about sketching and staying loose. And uh, another reason that a lot of folks are having to be able to paint on the fly is because with the current situation that we're in with the pandemic, uh, certain states are, have different rules. And I have a friend and she's one of my students who currently is in Hawaii. And yeah, that's a pretty big, nice gig, right? She's in Hawaii and she is painting on the beach. Well, since the pandemic, they're not allowed to stay stationary for very long. And she'd been painting in this one location for a long time. And the police came and threatened her with a fine and told her to move on because you're not allowed to stay in one place for very long. So with that said, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do it, what I, what kind of, equipment and materials and all that good stuff that I use. And I'm gonna even give you a little uh, peek into my sketchbook, okay? So again, thank you for joining me. If you're one of my subscribers, you hoo thank you, thank you. If you're not, mm -mm, consider, consider subscribing. So thanks for joining me and let's go ahead and jump in on this video. Okay, so I told you I talked a little bit about the materials and the items that I use when I travel and want to get a, a piece in quickly. Now, you're gonna laugh but sometimes it's as little as a sketchbook. And this is not even a watercolor book. This is just a sketchbook. Yeah, you can get these anywhere. You can probably even get a much nicer one. Or you can get a little watercolor block. Now, I probably recommend this uh, for, you know, pieces that are truly meaningful to you. These are super, super easy just to throw in your purse. Um, and if you're a guy and not carrying a purse, if you have a man bag, perhaps you have cargo pants. <laughs> cargo pants work great too, because as long as you have some pockets deep enough to carry, I mean, this is not that huge. I mean, this is a, uh, I believe this is like a six by six. Um, you know, it's itty bitty, so it's not it's not very big. Sketchbooks, you can get a, bit, a little bit narrower. Um, book, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and, and give you a peek at some of the stuff that I've done. I just out sketching now again this is just a sketchbook this is not even good watercolor paper but um and i always document what i do um here i was at the smithsonian garden show in february last a year ago and i was painting a lot of the orchids that they had and just using watercolors oh uh, and i was able to get these knock these out and get them down and and it gives me a reference. Sometimes I'll go ahead and take pictures while I'm there, but I'm generally just sitting there looking at the flowers and painting what I see, because that's, that's really one of the best ways to really experience the painting process. Uh, I had gotten permission to go in, provided I, you know, I, I, there was no setup. There's nothing that, that I brought in with me other than a sketchbook, and I'll show you the watercolor kits that I use. But I'm able to get just these little little sketches. Here was a lady that was just kind of sitting on a bench. And it's it's not what I would consider a beautiful finished piece of art, but it was just something fun. And I, you know, I documented it. It says outside the Smithsonian Visitor Center in the garden. And this was actually a year ago today. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So yeah, that's where I was this time last year. I was in DC. And I, you know, even if it's just a garden urn. You know, I see all these beautiful things and I just wanna be able to capture them. And I can do this really super quick and very, I'm very unobtrusive when I do this. And that's the key. If you're painting in a public situation, uh, some places do not want you to sit up and paint, uh, especially if you're wanting to come in with your, your oil paints, you're not allowed to. So this gives you still the option to do what you, you know, get your painting in and do it super fast. I've been known to, you know, and then just doing sketches and, and that sort of thing. I may have just been playing with my paints a little bit, not even painting anything particular. I had the opportunity recently to be in Mexico 
and uh, was in Mexico City. And for those who know uh, who Frida Kahlo is, an amazing artist, and that was her home, was Casa Azul. And I was able to paint at Frida's house. Now, for me, that was a huge deal, a huge deal. I look, I even have my Frida Kahlo earrings on, okay? I love Frida. And the opportunity to actually go into a, a public place, keep in mind, this is a museum, and sit in the courtyard and paint in the places where she painted. She lived there, she created her art there. And, you know, I went in with my, just this little kit here, uh, this little pad of paper, and I'll show you the paints here in a minute. And was able to do this little piece, actually, I took it out. And it's, I, I of course, documented Casa Azul, Frida Kahlo's home, February 6th, 2020. And there you have it. This is a little pretty, this little pretty, um, you know, obviously her home is very blue. The window, the shadows of the plants on the on the wall. I I just felt so blessed to be able to be there and be able to do this. And I actually met another artist while I was there who was doing the same thing, another American. And he was painting also and sketching. And again, he was using watercolors as well. Of course, I am primarily a oil painter. That's what I do. But I, I'll swap it up a little bit with my mediums just so I can get into places and paint. Now I'm gonna show you something. You're gonna laugh. Now I, I do have your, your standard little travel kit like this. This is a Winsor Newton uh, paint set. And you know, it's really not that fancy. The paints are really tiny. There's not as many colors. Here's your colors. Obviously I didn't wash it off since the last time I painted and it looks like it still has Casa Azul paint on it. But um, you know, it has a, a very small paintbrush. So you can see a little paintbrush. You don't need a big, a big one. And um, you know, it has this the array of paints. And of course you can mix a lot of your colors. Now, when I travel with this one, obviously I need to have a water source. And sometimes I have a water bottle in my purse. Uh, I have a big purse that I travel with sometimes. I'm just carrying a water bottle, whatever. I have, to, I use my little cap to my water bottle as my, <laughs> Way to wash my brushes out and a little, little paper towel or a napkin. I keep it really super simple. Um, but then, this is, this is the part that's kind of funny. Yeah, I was kind of a sucker and I'll see the ads that come across on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, the ads that come up. And this was a little watercolor set. And I thought, eh, you know, 30 bucks, what am I gonna lose? Cause it looks really good. And what's wonderful is it's, it's super skinny, super small but watch, it's got a whole bunch of paint. It's got a ton of colors here and, and it's broken up into, you know, you can see how it's broken up. It's wonderful. The, and then, and then you've got your little mixing board here, right here, so you can mix your paints if you're, if you're trying to get a specific color. This, is, this little pen comes with it. Now, Okay, I'm usually like, oh no, only get the best products and, and you really need to have, you know, you get what you pay for, all that kind of stuff. But this was actually a pretty sweet little deal because the paints themselves are actually quite richly pigmented. And um, the, the pen, which I thought was gonna be kind of a, a hokey little item, actually turned out to be really cool. And what makes it so cool is that you fill it up with water Okay, you fill the pen up with water and you screw that little sucker back together and it has a little sharp, let's see if I can get that in closer. You know, you have your little paint surface here, your little paint brush. And I'll, I'll give a demonstration here in a minute and show you how, that you actually already have your water. You just, you just use it like you would any other paint brush and you can squeeze it a little bit and, and put out a little bit more water if you need to dilute it. This worked out to be a pretty neat little thing. And I think for 30 bucks, I would tell anybody to get it. I think it's actually pretty good. And I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find the link for you and leave it down in the description, simply because I, the reason I say I'm gonna try is I don't know if I can find it. Uh, I got it on, I got it off of Instagram. So, but anyhow, I'm sure we can find something and uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll show this to you, but this was a pretty sweet gig. And you can see that, look how little these items are. Here's my head, give you reference. You know, I do have a big head, but still <laughs> there's, this is it. So I'm able to put this right into my purse. 
and I travel. It's everything I need and I don't have to carry anything else with me. And I'm able to get lots of sketches and, and um, on my trips and on my journeys and it's just kind of fun to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little demonstration here just to show you how it works and how the kits work and, and hopefully it will inspire you to try something like this too. So here we go. Okay, so now I have to pack it in and go, right? So I have my purse, it's not a very big purse, right? And I can manage to put all these things in my purse. See, but there's, the, there's the paints, and the other set of paints. It's right in there, and this is a small purse. Now if you carry a big bag, yeah, you can put all kinds of stuff in there. There's my little pen, and a pencil. And I love a kneadable eraser. I generally don't use a kneadable eraser when I'm painting on the fly, but it's good to have. And I'm off. It's all right here in my bag. And I have my other stuff in there and everything's cool. So there you go. I can, it's very portable. Get in and out. That's the key. And here you can see if you do have cargo pants, you can fit basically everything right into your cargo pants your watercolor paper, your watercolors, and you could stop right there at that set, but look, you could even put the other set in there and bam, you're ready to go. So you can have your paints with you and run if you have to, but there is your cargo pants loaded down with paint. Now first we start off with a little sketch. Now I could be sketching just about anything. I may be sketching somebody at the airport. I could be at a zoo sketching. In this case, I just happen to be in my studio. And this is my basic setup. I've got my sketched out paper and my paints and away I go. So I'm using the paint pen, the one that came with the little kit that I was, I'm so excited about, that I have filled with water and uh, I can just squeeze. But you can see right there, up top, I've got a little cap that came off my bottle of water, and that's often how I, uh, I paint, just with a little tiny cap of paint, and I have usually a paper towel or something that I can wipe with. This painting probably took me, you know, from sketch to filled in with paint, probably took me about 25 minutes, and, um, and you'll see here in a little bit, I'll end up uh, inking it in, but that's it. I'm just, I'm just getting a little, a little bit of a painting in and then away I go. Often when I'm finished and the paint is dry, I'll use a waterproof pen such as this and ink it in. It just helps me get some of the little details and it's also to how I'll generally sign my pieces when they're finished. Here you see my purse. And I'll say, yes, officer, I'll be right, I will leave right now. I will not stay here any longer than I need to. <laughs> and all fits right inside my purse. just like that. And off I go to my next adventure. Well, there you have it. Now you know how you can paint on the fly. Watercolor sets like this are inexpensive. I mean, I guess you can pay a lot, but the one, the one little set that I was trying to find information for, uh, this is the Superior Watercolor set. It's the 42 count. And I did find it online, so I'll go ahead and leave the link or uh, link towards it. I know you can get it on Amazon. I think you can get it even on Wish. Um, you can get it. It's not expensive, and but it's it's not the best quality. But I think the pigment for what it is and what you're buying is actually pretty good. So I definitely would tell you that this is good be simply because it's it's probably the most easy portable with the most amount of color. So it is pretty good bang for your buck for what it is. Of course, you could use any reputable set like the Winsor Newton set that I showed you earlier, and that's a good one also. And, uh, and it does have a little tiny brush and you can get portable brushes that even have the, you know, they have little covers and you can take them apart and put them together and they're wonderful. They're full length uh, watercolor brushes. But because I like to travel fast and light and, and uh, just, I don't need a lot to carry. I try to keep it as 
down to the most minimal amount of things to take with me. So there you have it. Again, too, when you see me, uh, when I, I can tell you from when I sketch in my sketchbook or do any little watercolors, I always document everything. It's almost like a journal for me. I have an art, artistic or art journal and it's kind of neat because I can go back later and say, oh yeah, I remember this trip or oh yeah, I remember when I went to the zoo and I painted their, their uh, macaw parrots with my watercolor set or whatever. It's just really nice to be able to document and go back later and see what you've done. So I, I, I go ahead and add that in there too. So again, thank you to, so much for joining me today. If you're my subscribers, thanks again because it's I wouldn't be doing this unless it was for you guys. And also, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead, subscribe, and give me some thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all about today's video, or perhaps you have a particular paint on the fly kind of medium or something that you do uh, that's your favorite, I'd like to know what it is because I'm always looking for other um, ideas on how I can just keep painting anywhere I'm at. I just wanna keep, <laughs> just keep creating art. So let me know what you do. And again, thanks again for joining me. And until next time,